streets are truly not safe i'm literally two seconds away from my house and i almost just got picked up by a white woman it's a remix and i'm coming with that bow 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 pretty bitch i'm trying to hit her with that bow 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 can't catch me slipping i'ma up it when i bow 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 hey cool kids well <laughs> today isn't going to be a school vlog Hi, Editing Carter popping in just to say that you're going to hear squeaking from my fire alarm monitor thing. So if that annoys you, I'm really, really sorry. I think I addressed it later on, but I just want to say something now too. Okay. Because I'm not going to school. Because I'm really sad because jokes aside, school is not the worst thing in the world. I know it can be worse and I know it's really worse for a lot of other kids. But <laughs> it's also not the best thing in the world for me it gives me a lot of anxiety and it makes me really sad because i don't have friends and um my best friends one of my best friends doesn't live we didn't get to experience high school together because life happened to her so she doesn't live in my um town anymore so, you know, I go to different schools and live in different cities now. Other best friend, um, well, let's just say that a little cooler than me. So, cool kids have cool friends. <laughs> um, we're still besties, you know, we talk here and there, I guess. Um, my other best friend, once again played sports so she made a lot of friends and so she has her own friends and I don't really fit in with them so you know I rather and that's one thing I'm like I I do so I'm like I wouldn't say I'm alone by choice but I would rather like be by myself than be around people I know I'm not gonna enjoy because then that's not fun either you know and I, I not enjoy them because they're bad people or anything everyone has their click you know if you're not into football, you're not going to want to hang out with a whole bunch of people who like football, like football players, you know? So, that's just what that is. And I was, I was crying a little bit. <laughs> it's not funny. Get out if you're going to continue to laugh and make fun of me. I'm, I'm crying right now because I'm just really sad. And I'm just praying that life changes, you know? Like, this isn't going to be forever. Sorry about the, like, my fire thing. I'm sorry if that really annoys you. I usually don't hear it because I've gotten so used to it. But when I go back and watch videos, you can hear it so loudly. So I'm really sorry about that. And I would get up and click it so it would stop beeping. But I'm really comfortable. <laughs> but anyways, like, I just, you know, I'm trying to have a lot of faith, you know. I'm, I I believe in God. Like, I believe in God. I, I, I'm Christian, you know. And I believe that God truly does have a plan for everybody and that he truly wants the best for all of us, you know. And so I try to really hold on. And I'm kind of new to my faith. So I'm really trying to hold on to that belief that, you know, things are going to get better. Like, this isn't going to be forever. Like, eventually I'll, I'll find my click. Or even just, like, I don't know, just, I guess, find happiness to where I can truly just be alone. I don't know. But I believe better days are to come. It's just today is just one of those days where it's just a little rainy, you know? And, like, that's okay. I've come a long way mentally. You know, God has helped me come a long way mentally with me putting my trust in him and stuff. Like, I feel like a year ago I would have been, like, downhill spiral right now. Probably, like, full on just not coping well with all of this. But now I'm kind of just like okay you know allow yourself to be sad allow yourself to feel emotions be sad today you know if i don't want to go to school today so i did not go to school today i'm allowing myself to do that but you know don't just sit in it either like i'm allowing myself to really think about okay how can tomorrow you know i make sure tomorrow's gonna be a good day like how can i make sure that you know or maybe in the next hour like okay you can get up and i'm gonna clean my room and i'll you know i'll record some of that and stuff but you know i i always say this i'm like one thing i'll always do is i'm gonna prioritize my mental health because i come from a family who has not prioritized mental health and a family that really has sweeps mental health under the rug and doesn't really call it for what it is my mom's walked in okay <laughs>
Girl, what did you just say? I'm gonna translate for y'all. I said my mom had just walked in, so that's why there's a cut in the video. Okay, but yeah, I come from a family that doesn't really prioritize mental health, and it really shows, and <laughs> I want to break that cycle. I'm prioritizing my mental health always and forever. Like, if something... Ooh, my finger is in my if I'm not doing good mentally and I know that you know whatever activity or whatever this is is gonna contribute to me not doing well mentally so like for example today I wasn't I'm not doing well mentally and I know going to school is gonna contribute to me not doing well mentally I'm not going to school like I I don't care I'm not going to school because it's not gonna contribute to me feeling good or happy about myself it's just gonna push me further down and it's like I don't want to be pushed further down and that's okay because I will always say this like there is no use and getting perfect grades or you know achieving a goal and then when you achieve that goal you're not even going to be able to enjoy it because you were miserable you're miserable you know everything you had to do to get there made you miserable or it's like you didn't even enjoy the process of trying to reach that goal because it was a miserable process for you so you see what i'm saying like i'm like what's so what's the point so yeah i i this is really crazy and I hope this isn't insensitive, but it's like I would literally rather be like homeless on the street or like poor and happy, I guess you can say, than have all the money in the world, have a house or whatever. But I was literally, I'm literally miserable because I literally sacrificed my mental health to achieve the things that I achieved. It's no point to me. I feel like it's, it's just like no point because those are the people who end up committing suicide and stuff. Like you see it all the time how so many people it's like they have all the money in the world. They have everything they could want. Why are they so depressed? Why are they so sad? Because a lot of the time they sacrifice their mental health to get the things that they have. They didn't prioritize it. So now they're they have everything they wanted, but they can't even enjoy it because they then their mental state isn't right. <sighs> that was a long run, but yeah. Anyway, so I do have a couple plans today. I do plan on still doing homework and stuff because a lot of stuff is still on Canvas online because of uh, COVID. Kids catching COVID, they want to make sure kids can still do their work. So I'm going to make sure I still do all the work that I possibly can do while I'm home. I'm going to clean up my room, something I've been wanting to do for the last couple of days. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. It'd be nice to come home tomorrow to a clean room. And I might go to the mall or something just to get out the house and get sun. I don't know, but I'm just going to try to have a decently productive day at home and really uh, have a good day of like praying and stuff because I just feel defeated, you know, so yeah. So you guys should be proud of me. I'm up. <laughs> I had my moment this morning. I cried. I allowed myself to feel sad and that is so important with mental health. And when you're done, I stole my makeup on from yesterday because I just came home and went to sleep because I was so over it. But that is so important with like mental health and any healing process. You need to allow yourself to feel whatever emotion in that moment, whether it's positive or negative. Do not try to block that emotion out. Like allow yourself to go through those emotions. Allow yourself to feel those emotions. That has helped me so, so much. Because before when I would like keep pushing the emotions down and not allowing myself to feel like sadness and stuff and like trying to force myself to no, like just be happy. Um, eventually that builds and builds and builds. And then before you know it, instead of just having one day like today where you know, for a moment, I wasn't doing too well. I ended up having multiple days for a long extended period of time where I'm not doing well because I've let so much of that trauma and that that uh, those emotions build up and they just explode and they have to explode. Why do we need all that? For all the times I ignored them. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So because I allowed myself to feel those emotions this morning, yes, I'm still not as happy as I could be, but I feel a whole lot better. And I've decided... So, okay, I'm not going to, like, stay in this moment too long. I allowed myself to feel these emotions. Now I want to allow myself to try to feel some different emotions, like happiness and productivity. So I'm getting up, and I'm finally going to clean this dirty old room, y'all. This room is so dirty. It's very, very messy. Um, I, bought, I got a new vacuum cleaner. My sister bought it for me because we needed a new vacuum cleaner. I just stepped on a pricky, and it really hurt, um, which is why I'm glad we got a new vacuum cleaner. So we got a new vacuum cleaner. I'm going to put it together and vacuum my room. It's been a while since my room has been vacuumed. I'm embarrassing. But yeah. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I need to uh, get my math homework printed out from today. They still are uploading things online. So, you know, if you miss school, 
um do some research for history so just basically do some homework because i still want to stay on top of that and then i'm gonna work on my youtube channel my banner and stuff is still all my old stuff as if you if you're watching this video during this time you'll see it's still stuff from when i was doing my cross stitching youtube channel but obviously i'm changing to whatever this i don't know what to categorize myself as mm, how about a hot ass mess you ever tried that category hot ass mess vlog but i wouldn't even say vlog because not all my videos are going to be vlogs honestly it's just random we're just here cool kids only be weird or die kidding don't die you either kill yourself or get killed but yeah so i'm just gonna start by probably this area of my room because it's really messy over here then move on to my futon my little couch and then my desk area and yeah understand that it's okay to have bad days that you are still worth your life is still worth living you still have a purpose in life whether you want to believe that or not everyone has a purpose i don't care i don't care you are loved you are beautifully wonderfully and fearfully made and um stay cool kids stay cool kids so i'll update you guys in a bit i just wanted to pop in to say this real quick make sure you're drinking water especially if it's summertime wherever you're at which nine times out of ten it probably is because you know i don't know why i'm assuming that let me not assume but why would you say that but it's if it's hot and even if it's not hot when it's cold because during the winter a lot of people are dehydrated too because they feel like they don't have to drink as much water because it's not hot but you still need to be drinking lots of water and so make sure you stay hydrated and make sure you eat something today i know it's hard i know it's not easy for all of us to eat especially if you're busy like i know with me coming back to school i forget to eat all the time but i'm trying to make sure i eat you know i might be a little chunky monkey but contrary to popular belief fat people don't just eat all the time like the skinny girls i say it like that sometimes i forget to eat too so anyways i digress eat something make sure you drink plenty of water and remember once again you are loved okay next part of the video today's friday uh, okay y'all yes you heard that correctly friday it's a whole new day i didn't record anymore the other day honestly because i really didn't do anything but like took the whole day to clean my room but i promise you this part of the video is a lot less like uh, deep conversation and it's a lot funnier and it's a lot more chill um yeah i definitely didn't go my friday did not go the way i wanted it to go so there is still some seriousness that gets talked about and some serious issues about mental health and stuff you're gonna see kind of me go through a manic episode in this next part so please stick st hang in here with me but it is a whole lot better and a lot more funny stuff happens so just just watch the video please Oh my gosh, y'all, the way I thought my lashes ate today and they slipping and sliding and I cannot blame this on the heat or no sweating because I had just, like I literally have been awake for less than an hour and the lashes have been on for less than 40 minutes. So girl, don't blame it on the heat, don't blame it on nothing. Those lashes are slipping and sliding because you don't know how to put on no damn lashes and I've been going to school. This is embarrassing. I don't got friends because I look like Sedge from Ice Age. This is embarrassing. But I don't care. Y'all better not bully me in these comments. I thought I ate. I thought I looked good. I thought these lashes was on pack. So let me believe that, please. Let me just believe it. So nobody better come for me in them damn comments. Honestly, because I have no friends. This is not. But I'm going to try to be positive and enjoy myself. I'm wearing red. I'm going to wear red. I don't See how today is. Tired. Kind of a little sad because something happened yesterday that made me sad again after I had picked myself up and I was doing good and I cleaned my room and stuff. And then something happened that made me sad again. Like, life, please give me a break. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm home. I. <laughs> you guys please do y'all see i'm about to beat my daddy's ass because he let me get in the car and go to school like this do you see the way my lashes are holding on for their lives 
Oh my god. And guys, the crazy thing, I really need you guys to understand this. I was like, I literally, I literally said to myself in the mirror this morning, I was like, these are the best lashes I ever done put on. Okay, girl, and I was blinking my eyes and I done blinked them. I done blinked them too damn hard. Now they holding on to the edge of glory. Because do you guys see them? It looks like it looks like I got two different styles of lashes on this is just not a look this is embarrassing this is a low moment i don't gotta tell you guys i'm going through it you can tell by these lashes that today was a hard day that this the morning i literally was like i literally have been existing today at this point for less than three hours guys i kid you not less than three hours so believe me when i say it's been hard it has been hard I ended up not staying at school the full day like, I literally didn't even do a period at school. Now, y'all, okay, I'm done after this. But did you just see how I had the audacity to blink my eyes? I've been doing that all day. I had the audacity to blink my eyes. Like, like, girl, what are you blinking like that for? Like, baby girl, it's not giving. It is not giving what you think. Is, it's giving something. But it's not giving what you think is giving. So I'm going to need you to stop blinking. I'm going to need you to just hold your eyes open. Just hold your eyes open. Because... I'm just, to make a long story short, um, I had someone who was, I had a best friend who we were, like, this tight, like, us against the world, and to make a long story short, I ended up getting, getting replaced so quickly by people who have, who have more, I guess, to offer than I do, and so that's kind of the root of why I don't have friends, so if I can give anybody advice for any high school middle school, like school in general don't put all your eggs in one basket whatever you do don't just have one friend like even if it's your best friend and you think you and them are sep like inseparable don't do it make other friends make sure you have other people that if things happen you can hang out with them also make sure you hang out with other people don't put all your eggs in one basket i did that and it's the biggest one of my biggest regrets of my life by putting all my eggs in one basket because they did not put all their eggs in one basket and also the way things are set up for them it's a lot easier for them to make friends to make friends and for people to want to talk to them i'm not gonna say why but it is a lot easier for them to make friends and they're a lot more approachable and people not necessarily like them more but people are more likely to approach them than they are to approach me i'm not a very approachable person i'm I'm gonna call it for what it is like I'm a big black girl like I'm not the most easy to approach and that's just reality so people aren't quick to approach me so it's a lot harder for me to make friends versus what my best friend looks like is the complete complete opposite of me which makes it so easy for people to want to approach them so um and also once again they just didn't put all their eggs in one basket I'm the type of person that was like I will get content when I have like a small friend group or a friend or whatever and I messed up by put getting content and putting all my eggs in one basket when school was in session um, I'm not gonna speak bad on this person. I love this person. I hope that they have, you know, a great school year. But this person completely has, like, completely, like, rocked my world, so. And today, something happened with them. I would also like to say, like, I'm not saying I haven't done anything to maybe make them feel like this or make them want to replace me. So, I don't know why they did it, but also, I know I'm not the perfect friend. I'm not playing victim at all like i'm not saying that i haven't i probably haven't done anything to make them be like okay i do not want to be friends with this person anymore i don't know i'm also not gonna ask because i'm like you made your decision instead of talking to me so hey i'm just gonna respect it and move on here but this person completely has like completely like rocked my world so and today something happened with them that really like hurt my feelings to the point where I was like I need to go home like I want to go home and cry like I don't want to be here like I I can't do this it's okay guys my son is gonna shine things are gonna get better and for anybody who's going through a similar situation or anybody who feels like how I'm feeling like what school or like whatever stage you're in in life like I promise you you're Okay, I know I wasn't supposed to say anything else and I said I was gonna leave old girl alone with her lashes but like I know y'all seen me just just try to fix like girl you don't want the whole video looking like said i said said earlier looking like sid looking like rosa looking a hot ass mess with your lashes falling off and now you want to try to fix it and girl what was that supposed to do because it still looks like you have two different lashes on Ugh, this girl i boy anyways your son's gonna shine like keep believing that god has bigger plans for you keep believing that even if you don't believe god okay the universe or just keep believing that things can get better for you like 
whether you believe in God or whatever, simple law of the universe is you, whatever energy you put out is the energy you're going to get back. So put out good energy. And even if in your heart you don't believe that, because like in my heart, I believe I'm like, I'm just going to have a horrible school year. Like nothing is going to look up for me, but I'm trying to speak and trying to act opposite to how I really feel on the inside and pray that, you know, I'm putting out that energy into the universe and it will come back to me. Like, so you're not alone. Trust me when I say you're not alone. Like you are not alone if you feel like hopeless, if you're really battling with depression, like whatever the case may be, you are not alone. And just remember, like I said, I'm not saying that your friend might be completely different than my friends and stuff, but never put your eggs in one basket. Don't do it. Make multiple friends. You can have the best friend. You can have someone you hang out primarily, but also make other friends and hang out with those other friends. Don't do what I did because that's the biggest, that's probably my biggest high school mistake was putting my eggs in all in, all in one basket. So, but I'm going to be okay, guys. And like I said, I don't wish bad on anybody, not even my you know my ex best friend like i they're happy they're happy with the new friends that they have and i'm glad that they're happy with the new friends that they have i just wish that i mean you didn't have to totally like say f you and stop talking and hanging out with me but whatever i guess so i'm just a little sad you guys but it's a three-day week and i just want to say as you can see i am really clearly like deeply deeply hurt like this is probably one of the worst worst hurts i've had in my whole entire life like i've never really felt this kind of hurt before honestly so i am really hurt and i have a lot of healing to do but i am gonna get over it and if you're going through a similar situation you will too i just wanted to say that that you are loved and that good comes like really jokes aside good does come now go ahead sid finish the video again and technically four because i'm not at school today and i'm gonna really try to enjoy it and be happy so love you all Oh, and I forgot to say, stay cool, kids, because this is a cool kids party only. Okay, cool kids. Whew, I'm back. It's been a couple, it's been like an hour, maybe an hour or two. And I feel a lot better. I allowed myself, remember how I said earlier in the video when yesterday when I was having a really bad mental health day, I said, make sure you allow yourself to feel the emotions that you need to feel. That's exactly what I did. I allowed myself to feel the emotions that I needed to feel. I allowed myself to cry, be upset. And then I decided, though, to make a decision. This is something I've never done. And I've decided to just take accountability. It's like, though I'm upset and stuff, I'm like, okay, what? Like, I had to reflect and look back on, at myself. And I had to decide to literally make a decision. Where it's like, I could either decide to be angry, be sad, be depressed, allow this situation to make me feel worthless and all the situation to dictate the rest of my month or dictate you know the rest of my whole school year because yes i'm like crazy and impulsive like that like i'll literally let decisions like this dictate how the person i'll become for the next couple of months or i can decide to say you know what no i'm gonna take control and i'm gonna turn this pain into motivation and i've decided that i'm gonna turn this pain into motivation and the best the best revenge is success and i'm not looking for revenge but i'm saying the best way to overcome this is success the the best way to overcome it is what babe success is success it's success guys i have a list and so success that was funny as hell to me and it's okay to laugh so i really sat there and i was thinking i was asking myself friends i was like what what do i want out of life like what do i want like i will be an adult soon like i'll be an adult technically i'll be an adult in december of this year my birthday is december 18th but obviously i would say like official adulthood is going to start after high school and definitely like after that summer and like i asked myself so in the next like you know nine months or so where do you see yourself like what do you want you know from yourself in nine months and it's like i want to be successful you know like i want to there's so many things i want to accomplish this year and there's so many things I want to set to accomplish so that I set myself up to be in a certain place. Like, for example, YouTube. Like, I really have always wanted to be a YouTuber. Like, I, I've had YouTube channels so many different times. Like, my first YouTube channel was when I was in the fifth grade. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. And I've always wanted to do something creatively, like with art or just with my personality. But, like, definitely create. Like, be creative with what I uh, produce, you know? And I've always wanted to do that. And then I got to a point in my life where it was like, 
you start to get to that point where you start to care what, like in fifth grade I used to make videos all the time and i didn't care i didn't tell anybody about them but i used to post and i didn't care and if somebody stumbled upon them i was like okay whatever but then i got to a point in my life where you start to care about other people's opinions and you start to care about what other people think of you and you start to care about how other people view you so like i always wanted to create and sometimes i would like make little instagrams or like do little things where i would not tell anybody and they would never grow because i would never promote them or tell anybody or put myself out there because i didn't really want anybody to know it was one of those things where it's like if people find out i want people to find out because i blew up or something you know but now i'm like at the point where i'm like that's giving people too much control over my life and over things that i want like i don't care anymore and so going back to the situation i'm in like i was like i by me like if i decided that i was gonna curl up under the ball and just die that's giving that person and giving this situation way too much control over my life you know like over my life decisions over me and it's like that's not fair like i feel like that the situation has had control and because i don't know how to word this this situation has had control over me for a little bit too long this person not intentionally like man i don't want to word this because i'm like if they ever run across this video for whatever reason this would be the video to blow up i'm like i don't want to paint this person in a negative light because they're not a negative person i allowed that person to have a lot of control because i was always waiting on their move and their get-go and like i want to just follow behind them and it's like now nah, i want to take control of my own life you know like i want to set my own destiny it's like i could cry and i'm complaining like oh i don't have friends because i said you know i put all my eggs in one basket well you know what i'm gonna go get more eggs for my basket now you know i'm like i'm gonna start putting myself out there a little bit more and that's scary to do and it's because i care what people think and also because like you know like i look weird or whatever and i've got people told me like i look weird but also like i feel like i look a little weird which isn't negative to me like i like how i look but i know once again like i can come up intimidating so people aren't quick to like just want to talk to me and be my friend but i was like I'm gonna just go and put myself out there like why not like same thing like with this YouTube like I'm just gonna post videos and put myself out there and if it doesn't go anywhere okay I failed but what if it what if I don't like what if in six months from now like I have like half a million subscribers or something like that'd be absolutely crazy and it's possible though like I never know what could happen I could have one of my TikToks blow up and then everybody comes floods my channel I can have this video blow up like who knows but I got I went on a tangent going back to the root of what I was saying is I want to take control of my life. What do I want? And I would like, this is, this is, and this is scary to, I feel like, put your goals out there because there's always going to be someone out there telling you it's not possible. And once again, if it doesn't happen, I, it doesn't happen. But if it does happen, it happened. And I feel like that's always, to me, the incentive. And so, like, by the time the summer hits, so around, I guess, this time next year, I guess a couple months, like, I would say more like July, I would love to have my youtube channel be in a very successful place be making money and this be my main um source of income like obviously like youtube and hopefully other projects you know opportunities that youtube opens up for me be able to travel and go to school like that's what i want and to be have friends have new friends have met people through this like okay it cut me off but the last thing i think i said was like you know i've met people through this but yeah just a whole life and mentally too like obviously that was a lot of like outwardly physical things mentally just be in a whole better place like be let go of the shackles of people who hurt me hopefully be forgiven from anybody i've hurt because like obviously i'm not perfect once again i'm not perfect i've definitely done a lot of wrong things and hurt a lot of people like i'm sure so hopefully i've gotten forgiven from like stuff like that but yeah but I need to break it down, like, back, back, back up, because those are obviously big, big goals, and just break them into little things. Like, starting as far as YouTube goes, I would like to, like, start posting on my YouTube channel. Like, I would like to have, like, post at least, like, three times a week, or maybe, like, three times a week. I would like to post more, but I don't want to do school vlogs. Like, that's the only thing I feel like I could really do, produce a lot of, would be, like, school vlogs. But it's, like, my school day is not that interesting, honestly. And as you guys can see, like, I really want to go to school which that's going to change too because a lot of reason i don't go to school is because i was letting these the situation and a lot of my feelings dictate and control my life which is put pushing me in a bad position because i do want to go to college and i would like to get into a really good college i might end up going to my hometown's college which is probably more likely because i would like to probably stay home but once again i don't know where my life's going to be by then if i'm in a financially it really depends on my finances so financially if i'm in a lot better position than i am now then I would love to go and nowhere super far. I'll probably stay in California, even I'm like, Ugh. 
I'd probably stay in California, but go to a cool college here in California somewhere. I don't know. And that's that's me because I don't hate my hometown. Especially if I have money so I can travel and I don't have to, like, you know, I can leave this whenever I want to. And this is just somewhere I come, you know, to sleep or whatever. But for the most part, I, like, I'm always traveling and stuff. Like, I, I would not mind staying here. But once again, we'll see where I'm at by then. Anyway, so let's bring it back. So, yes, I would like to post on my YouTube channel at least three times and make creative content like good content different stuff not just like school vlogs um i want to start doing scholarships for college because regardless of whether i have money or not money not many rather have money or i don't have a lot of money i want to start doing scholarships because scholarships also help set you up obviously good for college um guys something super exciting i'm i don't have a job currently right now i like don't work i've always like really wanted to but there's so many things that kept happening hitting me in my life where helped me make excuses for not going to go get a job but i have an interview at a pretzel place here that i really want that job i really really want it it's super close to my house so like it'd be great i can just walk to work because i don't like relying on people for rides and stuff so i can always just walk to work and walk home because literally i live like it's in a mall so i literally live like 10 minutes away from this mall i don't know if i should have put that information out there anyways <laughs> i really hope i get that job though and then what else was i thinking what else was i thinking oh i also applied at a red robins there in that mall and they uh, told me that i just need to drop off a resume and then they'll set up an interview with me so i do would like to i do would like to get i would like to get two jobs and as you guys see, like, I have a little bit of a speech impediment and a lisp. I talk on my tongue, which causes me to stumble over my words sometimes. And I also talk really fast. So I'm sorry about that. But this is me. This is raw, honest me. Love me. Anyways, so I would like to have two jobs because, once again, I want to occupy my time with me, one, not really having much, like, many friends. So it's like I don't really do anything. And it's like, okay, so what what can I focus this all this free time on? getting money so i can save money for college and also have money to do things because i want to do a lot of thrifting and stuff i want to try to do a lot of fashion on here i don't know if you can see but back there i have oh, over there i have a sewing machine and yarn and stuff because i crochet and i like to make clothing okay i'm recording because i'm walking through a parking garage and you know this is where like most i think okay correct me if i'm wrong i'm probably wrong but i think this is where the uh, girls get most traffic or people in general get most traffic here in parking garages so i'm just gonna um record as i walk through this little dark valley regardless how is your guys day going comment below i know this is like just a compilation of a lot of things and also you see the roller coasters of emotions that i go through on a daily basis oh also let me tell you what i'm doing i'm walking to the mall because i'm hungry my sister was supposed to come and get me at one but i think she's asleep and i'm hungry so I'm walking to the mall and also just to get out the house and also because I'm in a really good mood. So just all these two guys had matching colored hair, looked so good on them. I was like, I love your hair. They're like, I love yours too. And I was like, in my head, I was like, we need to be besties. But they were like walking, leaving the mall. I probably maybe would have tried to start more conversation if they weren't like... chicken fingers with cheddar fries. <laughs> this is awkward. I don't know how people can just report into the places and be bold and be loud. I don't know if you can hear me. Probably can hear me. But anyways, made it inside. Didn't get traffic. Take off. So I got Jamba Juice as a dessert. I meant to get a small. I don't want all this, really. But now I'm gonna drink because I paid seven dollars for it. But walking home. Oh my gosh, when I was in there, I saw a little yogurt stand that was hiring too. And so I filled out like a little application, I guess you could say, for that. So I hope I can get the Auntie Anne's job and that one. At first I was like, well, I don't know if I said anything. I don't know. Did I tell you guys? Auntie Anne's called me back. I have an interview on Tuesday for them and then Red Robin said if I drop off a resume they'll set up an interview with me and I was saying sorry I'm kind of out of breath I'm fat remember that and I just ate I'm kind of full so sorry for the heavy breathing 
but so much stuff so i can say this <laughs> so they're like basically auntie ann's have an interview with and then fred robbins is like we'll set an interview up with you and i was like oh i want to get both those jobs but now that i'm thinking i was like i would rather want auntie ann's and the little yogurt stand because the yogurt stand is so easy i can tell like they don't do too much at all so i'm hoping to get those two and i feel like i have a i feel like i have a really good chance at the auntie ann's one and then what's it called the yogurt one too it's just the only thing about that one is there was like no i didn't drop off a resume i literally just wrote my name and my number on a sticky note so i hope she calls me i really do hope she calls me but if she does i feel like i have a really good chance of getting that one too so i hope i can get both of them instead of red robins and auntie ann's excuse me i just pray i get one at the least <laughs> like i'm happy with one but i think i want two jobs so i can stack that money anyway so okay i know <laughs> I know I said I was gonna update you guys when I'm like home in my room safe, but let me let me tell you what just happened. I hate jaywalking, like I hate it so much. Okay, cut me off because my phone's about to die. But I was saying I hate jaywalking, like I hate it so much. And let me tell you why. I don't like running. I'm a big girl. These boobies be flying. Like. <laughs> it's just embarrassing for me so like i really be trying to wait for a moment where i can kind of literally jay walk not jay run jay walk and the opportunity usually never comes up i usually always gotta run and so right now i was waiting i was trying to jay walk so i was waiting like 30 minutes for the cars to slow down but it's it's like almost time forever to get off of work so everyone's coming home right now so the only that's a j sprint okay right now if you go and walk across the streets right now especially on this busy street it's a j sprint that's what it's going to be and so uh, i had to literally sprint and i kid you excuse me i kid you not my boob slapped me in in the chin and everybody's seen it and it was embarrassing so basically, I'm never leaving the house again. The streets are truly not safe. I'm literally two seconds away from my house and I almost just got picked up by a white woman. I don't know if she's seen me as some type of prize or what, but this is for the niggas, strictly for the niggas, okay? Okay guys, so I made it home. I'm laughing because that was a roller coaster, you know? And I'm glad because I needed some joy in my life, okay? After all this crying and sadness, child, I need that. My next video will be something way more just, like, stable. I'm going to be painting. Do you guys see that thing where you see all the yarn all circular or do something so to indicate what I'm talking about? That little thing. I'm going to try to paint that. We'll see how that goes. It'll be a video. Even if it's a fail, like, it's going to be a video. I'm going to attempt to paint that. Maybe paint my, like, cool kids stuff. Because, you know, cool kids only. Maybe I'll explain that joke eventually. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. Remember that, like I was trying to say earlier, and how the theme of this whole thing is kind of just like, you know, one, protect your energy and take care of yourselves. Take care of your mental health. It is important. And also that it's okay to feel sad. Like, I feel like we're always like people kind of like not no one ever says it's not okay to feel sad but at the same time too we do all these things to where it basically alludes to it's not okay to feel sad but it's okay to feel sad and it's also okay to allow yourself to feel sad for however long you need to allow yourself to stay feel sad but don't stay sad that's the thing allow yourself to feel sad it's okay to have those emotions but just don't stay sad because that's not gonna help and I know that's easier said than done. Like, trust me. I know that's easier said than done. It took me a long time to understand that. But just try to, I don't know, try to think about it, guys. But once again, you're a cool kid. Remember that. Don't let anyone tell you that, like, otherwise either. Like, you're a cool kid. Whatever you're into, whether you like to draw or whether you can skateboard, you're a cool kid. Whether you're smart or rather you're, no, I don't think anybody's dumb. But rather you're, you've been told your whole life you're smart, you've been told your whole life you're dumb. Like, you're still a cool kid. Like, cool kids only are allowed to watch this video. You could not watch this video if you weren't a cool kid. Basically, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. So, once again, the theme of this whole video was, like, take care of your mental health. Because, as you can see, I'm a train wreck. But at the end of the day, I'm trying. And that's all that matters. And that makes me a cool kid. So, stay cool, kids. 
Love you. Bye.